Today on Ham Radio Q&A, we're going to take a look at portable power, so please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, kb 9 vbr your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. The recent video I made on my portable HF kit uh, generated a lot of questions on what do I use as for a power supply. So as I'm prepping for an upcoming camping trip this weekend, I thought I'd take a moment and share with you what I use for portable power when I'm out in the field. Well, I've been a long time tent camper and I've done a fair amount of backpacking when my kids were in scouts. So when we moved up to the teardrop trailer, even though um, we have more space to carry gear, you know, I still try to economize my uh, kit um, and what I really bring into the field. Uh, I also try to think about my gear as modular units so I can pick and choose uh, the pieces that uh, best fit the situation, whether it's a weekend with the trailer or an afternoon in the park. So in this video, I'd like to, I'm going to just talk a little bit about the power needs and uh, what I'm doing to meet those power needs. So batteries are either heavy and cheap or lightweight and expensive. And there's no way around that. For cheap, um, at one time I was using a 12 volt uh, garden tractor battery. You know, it was under $30 and it had plenty of power, but it was a wet cell battery and it would cause a mess if it spilled. So uh, from that I upgraded to a 12 volt AGM or absorbent glass mat battery. You know, it's more expensive, but uh, completely sealed. Uh, so it wouldn't spill if I tipped it over. Eventually, um, I may upgrade once again to, you know, a lightweight lithium ion phosphate battery, but um, as those are um, extremely lightweight and they have a very good um, power capacity, but they're also quite expensive. And if I was backpacking, I'd certainly go that route. Uh, but since, you know, most of my ventures are vehicle based, uh, the AGM batteries are really uh, suit my needs just fine. So in the trailer, I have a 12 volt uh, U1 sized AGM battery. It has a 33 amp hours of power capacity and I can charge it either with an onboard battery charger. I'm using the NOCO Genius uh, G3500 or three and a half amp charger or with a 100 watt solar panel. And I have a Renogy Eclipse solar suitcase. Uh, we almost exclusively dry camp uh, with the trailer. So the Eclipse has been a very nice addition to able to extend the length of our outings without needing electricity. With this setup, I can run a power cable off the battery located in the galley to power my equipment. Since the battery is 33 amp hours, I can run up to 100 watts uh, transmit power with the ASU FT891. But what if I want something a little more portable? For that, I use a portable power pack. Well, I have the Renogy Phoenix uh, solar generator. It's this suitcase shaped kit uh, has an integrated 20 watt solar panel for charging and a 16 amp hour lithium ion battery pack. It also has a DC 12 volt output, 5 volt USB output and a 150 watt inverter. With this battery I can run my HF rig up to about 50 watts transmit power. Uh, the Renogy is a little more expensive and uh, this particular unit was a gift to me, uh, but um, you know there's other more inexpensive options available. I'd shop around for you know a power pack or a battery booster pack uh, that gives you at least uh, 15 amp hours of power. Now we talked a bit about battery power in terms of amp hours, so what does that really mean? Well basically the capacity of the battery will determine what power level you can transmit at and for how long your battery will last. You know, batteries, they just store energy, but they can't deliver more than their peak capacity. So um, if I try to draw more current than what the battery is rated for, the radio is going to shut down. So my transmit power is going to be governed by the type of battery I select. For example, if I had a 8 amp hour battery, you know, like this uh, sealed lead acid battery, you know, it's, I could use it um, QRP of 5 or 10 watts of power. A QRP rig at 10 watts is going to draw roughly two and a half amps of current. So if I set my transmit or, you know, down to 50 watts, uh, then I'm going to drive, drive about 12 amps of current. Going barefoot or at 100 watts will require about 22 amps of current. Since uh, bigger batteries mean uh, more weight, a backpacker is going to really want to um, economize or, or look for you know, the, the lightest battery or the lowest power settings that they can run with. Now amp hour capacity also determines how long your battery is going to run out of charge. Theoretically, if I had a 33 amp hour battery, I could power a 33 amp device 
for one hour until it depletes. Of course, this is entirely not true as, um, you know, due to the discharge characteristics of the battery and also, you know, the physics involved with power. Uh, but if you kind of get the point. Uh, so if I turn my transmitter down, uh, my battery's gonna last longer. Also, if I uh, modulate my duty cycle, I can also stretch my battery life even more. So if my, dra my radio draws one amp on receive and 12 amps on transmit, and during that one hour period, I transmit for 15 minutes and I receive for 45, you know, my total consumption for the hour is gonna be approximately 3.75 amps. My 33 amp hour battery could last almost nine hours before depletion in that scenario. Well, I hope this helps um, your understanding of portable power and field operation. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the video comments below. I love to read those and I respond to them as best I can. Also, um, I may pick out a couple of the best ones for my next Your Questions Answered video. Well, for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Uh, your support of this channel drives the production of future videos, so there's a couple of things you can do for me. Number one, uh, you can uh, give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also check out uh, the uh, uh, suggested videos alongside there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Pressing subscribe and the little bell notification will let you know when future videos are produced. And that, uh, with that, I'm Michael, kb 9 dbr Have a great day and 73. You're probably wondering what all the noise is about. Well, this is my street and this is my summer.